Here's what I need to ask of you as we get started. Please be open to change. Once again, most of what you'll see here are small tweaks to techniques that I would imagine you haven't seen before that will make a huge difference in your wrestling. An example would be a Merkel. Everyone knows how to do a Merkel, or so you thought. Here are the little tweaks that make the difference. First of all, we'll start with the grip. Uh, my son Jake will take care of that with Dan. On a Merkel, normally you just reach around the near arm and head and lock your hands. But when you're in the second or third period, when both of you are slippery and slick, it's a bear to get a guy over. If he's good, he's going to fight you and you're not getting him over. So what we do instead of that type of lock is we do a cross face, reinforced cross face. What Jake will do is push his arm across, lock on a cross face, which is easy to get, reach in, over, and on top of his own wrist. You get that. I don't care how slippery you are, how weak you are, he's going over. Okay, once again, start from there, pushing the, push the arm across, lock on there, come in and lock. You get that, it's not going anywhere. The second part, this is the most important part of the Merkel. This is the part you haven't seen before. The little things I want to clean up during all of these tapes. The next thing we're going to do when we finally get them over, so Merkel's always done down from the down on the mat for the most part. So you're down there, you got the leg, he stepped over the leg. You're in this position to get to Merkel. As Jake rolls him on through, what the difference is here is he crosses his legs, just like your father at home sitting in his favorite chair with his legs crossed. This is what I want, your legs crossed like this. Jake has that. That keeps his leg up here, and he has, in his mind, he wants to concentrate, keep the leg, keep the leg, keep the leg, because what Dan will be doing is he'll be kicking, trying to get that leg off of there, and you've got to concentrate on not letting that foot slip. Normally, in an old Merkel, that's what you'd have, and it's so easy for him to kick the leg out and get off his back. So when you cross your legs, that stops the leg from coming out. So two things that are new, improved, exciting, I hope for you, is the lock and how when we get them over, we cross our legs. There's an updated version of a Merkel. Next, what we'd like you to try some new things is to go slowly. Go slowly and use the words I'm using here in your head. Kids, when a coach goes over, step one, step two, step three, he usually has key words for one, two, and three. I need you to remember them because you see the move, you stop listening. You just visualize what the coach went over. And as a result, you forget. You go back and you just kind of wing it and you make three things wrong out of the five things that he showed you. And that doesn't get you points in a match. And then what happens is you've done it wrong once and every time you drill something wrong, you've got to drill it three times right to offset in your head the one you did wrong. So at the beginning, go slow, walk through, use the words that coach uses to help you get these moves down. And then as you get better, you can pick up the speed. You go from five mile an hour to 20 to 30 to 40 and so on. Don't try to go fast first time. You'll do it wrong every time. And then you get locked into doing it wrong. And then you get used to losing. And that's not why you're watching this tape. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is a cement mixer. And we're gonna give you a couple words here on the cement mixer. Coaches, you can do whatever words you want. These are the words that I use, okay guys? Now, the first three words is over, under, and three thoughts anyhow. Over, under, grab his wrist. So if Dan's bent over, we're gonna do this down on the knees, but right here, I have the young man get into it and get back out, get into it, get back out as a way of drilling this, coaches. Okay, over, under, grab his wrist. So Jake's gonna go over the head, under the arm. He's gonna reach down and grab the wrist. He's gonna push him away. Go back in, over, under, grab the wrist. Over, under, grab the wrist. So get the kids used to doing that. Now, once you have that, we're gonna do it, you know, we're gonna do the finished move. And we do that down on the knee. So it's over, under, grab his wrist. He Dan shoots as an example, shake sprawls. Under, under the arm, over the arm, grab his wrist. Now, the next three words that you have to know, ball, circle, bridge. What Jay's gonna do and this is not, 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 this is not, not, not a gator roll. Right here, a lot of kids will try to roll. If you want to get it on an average kid, you just go ahead and roll. Okay, you want to pin the guy, you want to win the position every time, don't you just roll. No, 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 a gator roll. A gator roll and a smack mixer are completely different. And here's the difference. From here, Jake's gonna come out to the right angle, ball, circle, bridge. He's gonna come out to this, push Dan back into a ball. He wants to form a ball. He's gonna come out to his right angle. He's going to put his head in Dan's pocket. He's trying to get his head, you know, in the pocket. Okay. Now, once he's out at a right angle, Dan's going this way. Jake's over here. We're at a right angle. Now he does a high leg over with this leg. 
and Dan goes over, and when you come up, you have a really, because you still have his wrist, really tight ripped half Nelson. You don't get out of this, basically. This is a, a bear of a move, okay? Face the other way. Dan, this, yeah, this way, you turn that way. Okay, ball, circle, bridge. And when you come out, now we're gonna talk about later a clock. Okay, Dan's head's always pointing at 12 o'clock, his feet are always pointing at six. And we'll talk about the clock in just a second. Jake has his position, leg position perfect at 12 o'clock. You always have a 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock leg. The other foot leg's going out at three. If you're on this side, you have a leg at 12 o'clock and you have a leg going at nine o'clock. So it's nine and 12 or three and 12. And we'll get, we'll talk about that in a second. Okay. That's probably it for the ball circle bridge and this and that. 